I wanted to just share this with everybody because um, I think it's important. Um, I was I was having a conversation with someone and I was asking them how they're doing and how their goals are and they're like, oh, I'm good, but you know, I just don't like the ups and downs of this business. And I was like, well, what isn't up and down in life? What isn't hard in life? You know, and I got me thinking just about, um, you know, just life in general, how, I mean, paying bills is not easy. You know, having kids is hard sometimes, right? Um, hiking a mountain. I live in Colorado, so I hike a lot. Hiking mountains are hard, okay? I don't know what isn't hard in life. Um, there's a lot of hard things that people face all the time. People face, uh, you know, cancer. They face um, foreclosures. They face devastating things all the time. People face broken legs and arms, <laughs> um, sprained ankles, you name it, you know? And things are hard. I don't, this life was never promised to be this fancy, easy thing. That's why we love, um, movies. You know, we love movies because we can get lost in this world, this fantasy world of perfection, you know, where people love those happy endings, the happily ever afters, the Cinderella stories. But you know what? Cinderella story was hard too. Um, and you know what? Just because it ended good, it doesn't mean that the story ends there. You know, it's still hard. Uh, this life is always going to be throw obstacles your way. This life is going to be difficult. It's an uphill battle. Um, it's an uphill march. You know, uh, a few years ago, I climbed Pikes Peak. It's um, considered one of the Colorado's 14ers. Um, so summiting it is a big deal, and it takes some practice. It takes going to the gym. It takes hard work to even want to hike it. Um, every time I've hiked, well, I've hiked Pikes Peak twice, okay? And it's it's a it's an all-day thing. You start at 5 in the morning. Uh, you end at about 1. You want to make it before all the, the storms come in in the afternoon. And this is what I wanted to share, though, was that both times that I've hiked this mountain, I've gone in big groups, you guys. Um, the groups, there's always a big group. And I will tell you that not everyone made it either time. Um, a few of us that made it, but a lot of people turned around. The first time I did it, I was like, mm, I think 17 years old. Um, and I went with like a group of 50 people. Um, about 15 of us made it to the top, you guys. Uh, why? Why? Because maybe they weren't prepared. Maybe they got blisters on their feet. Maybe they didn't have the stamina to push themselves to get to the top because so much of your success is in your head, you know, and you've got to move your, from your heart to your head to that physical action of actually going and moving up word to the top of the mountain to summit it. And if you dream of big things, you have these dream boards, you have these awesome ideas, you know, why, why don't you think that it wouldn't, why do you think it'd be easy getting there? Like dreams are dreams for a reason. And a lot of people will just always keep their dreams on their dream board. They won't actually go forward, march up the mountain and summit it to see the incredible views on top. And you see these amazing pictures. You see these amazing photos from the tops of, of mountains and you're like, oh my gosh, I love the view. Okay, it wasn't easy getting to the top of that mountain to take that picture, but the view is worth it. The view made the whole trip, the whole journey worth it. And same with your business, you guys. This isn't, an, it's not like it's all just pretty, um, you know, and, and roses and sparkles floating around everywhere. You know, it's hard. It's hard. You have to roll up your sleeves. You've got to grow your grit and you've got to march forward. If you want to be the person who summits the mountain, then you have to be the person willing to take on all of the hard. You have to be willing to take on the blisters. You have to be willing to run out of water halfway up the mountain like we did take on the headache, want to pass out and you push forward anyways. Do you know what I'm saying? And so anyways, I just wanted to come on here and encourage all of you guys to keep marching. This was never promised to be easy, but what isn't easy in life? To be able to have the opportunity to earn more than you could ever earn anywhere else in the world with this opportunity, it's at your fingertips. It wasn't promised to be easy, but it would be promised to be rewarding and life-changing for your family. And I would say that it is all worth it at that moment. So anyways, I 
keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on the summit. Keep hiking the mountain. Keep pushing forward. Make it to the top, okay? Um, if, you know, it's just, I, I just think, how much this business is like hiking Pikes Peak. There were moments where it would be like super steep and then there would be moments where we were going downhill, you know, and then there'd be moments where we were going up and then there would be moments where we had to climb rocks and um, it was just hard. There was different different seasons of, there's different levels of the mountain. Certain mountain top or certain parts of the mountain um, were, was lush and it almost felt like a rainforest. Other parts of the mountain, there's no trees because of the lack of oxygen. It's just rocks. And there's other areas that looked like a desert, you know? And so it changes, the atmosphere changes as you climb up the mountain. Um, and you know, but you get to experience everything when you're climbing up the mountain. You get to feel the excitement. You get to experience moments of success, but then you get to experience moments of hardship. You get to experience moments in your head where you're like, I just want to go down. Like, I just want to turn around and get off this mountain. It's so hard, you know? And anyways, I just wanted to paint that picture for you all today because I just really feel like sometimes you just have to keep marching. There are moments in your business where you're just going to say, Oh, I'm tired, but you keep going. You know, you keep posting, you keep sending out those messages, you keep, um, following up with people. You don't ever give up because in the end of the day, this business takes you finding five special people who will run with you to the top. Okay. And it only takes five. So if it takes you some years to find those special five, then I would say at the end of the day, it would have been worth it. All right. So I hope that you guys have a great day. Stay focused, be encouraged. Uh, there are seasons to everything. Uh, there are different levels and heights that you haven't experienced and seen yet, and it will all be worth it um, when, you know, a few years from now. And I would hate for anyone a few years from now to get a glimpse of their past and say, gosh, if I wouldn't have quit, if I would have just kept marching up the mountain, if I would have just pushed through, what could I have experienced? What could I have seen? What could I have been paid? How could I have paid off my debt? You never want to have those questions. You don't want to end your life and say, what if, what if I would have, if I would have just kept going one more year, what would my life look like? You know, so keep going. You keep going every day. You keep pushing every day. All right. And, um, I'm definitely not angry. I'm excited for you guys. And, uh, I believe in you all. And, I just know that there are great rewards for those who don't give up. Um, so the harvest is plenty and the, the workers are few. So be one of the workers that don't ever turn around and get off the mountain. You keep going until you summit. All right. Okay. Take care you guys. I hope you have a great day.